Hello and welcome back to Views on the Road. I'm your host Steph and today I'm going to be showing you how to perfect your bolillos and don't skip too far ahead because I'm going to be showing you a technique to achieve some chile colorado bolillos. You're going to start by adding your water into your bowl. Sugar, yeast, butter shortening and for those of you that don't like to use shortening you can just use butter. It's going to work out just as good. Add your flour. And you want to make sure to add the salt after your flour. You don't want to add the salt into your yeast because you could possibly kill it. And that's not what you want. So just take precaution and place it over your flour. And with your hook attachment, you're going to start slowly and you're going to combine all your ingredients. And that's going to take you anywhere from 8 to 10 minutes. Give or take, after about 10 minutes, your dough should be ready. It should be nice and soft and not overly sticky. Has a little stick to it, but not too much. Do you see that? That's what you want. So you're gonna get your dough. I'm gonna place it back in the bowl. And I'm gonna let it rest and rise for 30 minutes. And for those of you that are wanting to try a new flavor of your bolillos, right after you add your water, you're going to add your chili powder and your Mexican oregano. Now, for those of you that need a little bit more spice and really want to enhance the flavor, you can use something like uh, garlic powder, onion powder, and cumin to give it more of that southwestern feel that I love. But I think these two ingredients really bring in the flavor that you need. So that way, whenever you're using your bolillo for your, uh, for your tortas or to dip into something, it's going to taste equally as good as your regular. And you know, just a, a little kick to let them know that you made them at home. And for that first rise, you don't want to go over 45 minutes to your dough. Okay? If you go over that, you're going to change the flavor. And I speak from experience, but look at how beautiful and soft this dough is. And now it's time to mold it a little bit so we can make our bolillo balls. And we're aiming for a dozen of bolillos. And I'm squeezing like I would my tortilla balls. Once you divide your dough into 12 pieces, you're gonna form your bolillo balls. Your bolitas de masita. And you're gonna notice that when you divide them, some of them are gonna be slightly bigger than the other, and guess what? That's okay, you're not a machine. We're here to champion your humanity. You are a beautiful human, and I love you. So go ahead and tag me on the imperfect ones because I know they taste just as good as the production ones. This is your make it or break it moment for your perfectly shaped bolillos. You're gonna take one bolillo, you're gonna pull it. Once you pull it, you're gonna place it this way. Pull and fold. And you're gonna start shaping it as if you're looking at a croissant. You're gonna give it another pull, give it another fold, and on this side, you're gonna do the same. Another fold. And at this point, you should have almost like a butterfly shape, okay? And that's when you're gonna bring this side over, and you're gonna press in hard. Press it in. These little corners, you're gonna bring them and press them in, and you're gonna start shaping it as you would a croissant. Granted, you don't make croissants like that, but you know what I'm talking about. Then you're gonna start rolling, and when you roll it, you have to make sure that all of your corners or creases are sealed. If you don't seal it, it's gonna pop open and not the way you want it to. You're gonna dip it into your flour, Dust off the excess and place it on your baking sheet. Once you're done forming your bolillos, you're gonna let them sit on your counter for 45 minutes to an hour. We want them to double in size. And all you're gonna do is place a cover. I'm using parchment paper and I'll see you guys in 45 minutes to an hour. And while our bread has been resting for 45 minutes and doubling in size, I've also been preheating my oven at 380 degrees. And as you can see, no matter how hard you try, when you're making them by hand, they're going to do what they want to do. They're like children. 
But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna give them some beautiful curves. And you wanna use the blade of choice for the next step. I'm using a very sharp knife and I'm gonna give it a nice curvy slit. Ready? One, two, three. And follow through with some pressure. Now, if you don't want a curvaceous bolillo, that's okay, you can give it a straight line, but you know, this bread does have to resemble the owner. And a special shout out to Panadero Paso a Paso. I'll link his channel down below. He showed me how to perfect my bolillos, not just in flavor, but the appearance. And he suggests using oil right after you create a slit, and that's gonna allow them to puff up and give it that tear and that crackling that we love. Ooh, and it works, it works. He knows what he's doing, you guys. And now it's time to bake your bolillos in the oven at 385 degrees for 20 to 22 minutes. I've allowed our bolillos with chile to rest for one hour and this is what you have going on. Not only do you have a nice fluffy bolillo bread, you also developed a perfect crust. And boom, done. We have perfect bolillos every time. And then you just wanna arrange your basket. You know, you work so hard making your bolillos, it should look and taste beautiful for you. I'm gonna need somebody very special to say ah. Uh... I fried it just like a steak so that it can stay in place and Cloud gets the most perfect bite of her life. <laughs> Thanks girl, I love you. I love Ooh. you too. And boom, done. You have a beautiful, delicious torta with your homemade bolillos. I'm gonna need somebody very special to say ah. Uh. I'll be having my torta with the chile colorado, the red bolillo. Ooh, delicious. And the recipe that I use for today's carnitas is our instant pot carnitas, and I'll go ahead and link that in the description area. For those of you that love spice, go ahead and add a little bit of your salsa verde. Buen provecho. Thank you. And there's going to be nothing like eating a homemade torta made from scratch. Mm. Where's your Coke? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're laughing because we're both on sugary drink restrictions right now. <laughs> we got a little carried away during the holidays. I did. I did too. I was having hot chocolate every day. I was having everything that I can get my hands on every day. <laughs> <laughs> Look away, it's gonna get dangerous and I don't want to gross anybody out, but this torta, you can't eat it any other way but to dig in. Mm. And this is absolutely delicious. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as we do. Mm. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. We hope you love our take on bolillos. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios!